What's going on guys? Uh, t today I'll just be bringing you uh, the patch 1.0 notes that Tony just released. Um, the version I'm on is still pre-open beta so none of these changes have taken effect yet. I'm just going to be going over what uh, has been released. So first off LeBron is going to be here. Um, I will be creating a guide for that character so keep an eye out. Uh, should be either today or tomorrow. But um, right now, uh, I'll be going over buffs and what they did for each character. So starting out with Batman, um, the cooldown on the Batarang has increased from 13 to 14 seconds. Pick up a Batarang returns 11.55 seconds up from 11.5 seconds. This means that the minimum time between Batarang throws is 2.45 seconds up from 1.95 seconds. So. Maybe they felt like bat, uh, Batman was able to use his battering just a little too much. Um, so they're just balancing it out, making it uh, have a little more cooldown. Um, they also stated Batman's battering pickup cooldown created very small windows where the battering wasn't in play. This change should make it so opponents of Batman have a larger window between battering attacks to gain advantage. Um, even fighting like other Batmans, it felt a little hard to try and get in because uh, he was just able to constantly throw his battering due to how fast the cooldown was. Um, also noted uh, a bug fix to air slash ground side special, which is his grapple hook. Um, if you didn't see in my Batman match video, uh, the beginning of the video, I shoot my launcher at an iron giant and it launches me out of the stage. What? So, uh, a nerf to his up attack. So his his kick startup window increased by two frames. So it has a uh, a two frame longer startup. Active window and decreased by two frames. So it has two less active frames. Um, and the hitbox made it so that bugs hit nearly all around himself. This should make the up air a bit uh, more reasonable to deal with. So they changed the hitbox because I guess it hit all the way around him. It had a 360 uh, degree hitbox. Um, so now it should be a little easier to deal with. Next up is Iron Giant. Uh, most of these are just bug fixes. Um, so down air attack can no longer combo into itself. So, Iron Giant could just keep, as you can see, he can keep doing that. Um, now, I guess this is a bug, so um, he won't be able to combo into this now. Um, next is Air Slash Ground Down Special. Can no longer repeatedly hit and lock opponents in place forever. So, there was a bug with this move where um, sometimes it would bug out and just keep hitting the opponent and they just couldn't get out um iron giant would just the animation would continue to go even though he had smashed on the ground um so they were just getting hit and hit and hit and couldn't do anything um so that's gonna be fixed uh up air attack can no longer repeatedly hit opponents so i guess this used to um be able to just chain into itself. I don't know the actual bug here, but it just states can no longer repeatedly hit uh, opponents. So I don't get. I don't know, maybe, maybe at higher health. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that's just what it says. It can no longer repeatedly hit opponents. Let's see what they did to him. So air neutral attack. So his air bubble. Knocks opponents up and away to prevent an infinite attack caused by alternating down air attack. Sorry, air down attack and air neutral attack. So 
Steven had a uh, an infinite with this. I s was on Twitter. Um, I don't know if I can replicate it, but uh, Steven used to be able to get a infinite from this. I don't know. I'll try to find the clip so you guys can see it, but if not, that's what they fixed. He used to have an infinite, and now he can't do it. Now. The biggest of all nerfs in this patch change. Taz. Taz's Tornado, if you guys don't know, was the biggest, you can call it, scrub killer in this game. Um, a lot of people were just tired of Taz's just spinning to win in every game they came across, even in teams. Uh, you'd get teams of two Taz's who would just do nothing but spin. So, uh, first off is a bug fix. Fixed a bug that was preventing Taz from doing any aerial attacks once he reached his air special limit. So, I don't know what that really means. Um, anyway, that's just what it states. Fixed a bug that was preventing Taz from doing any aerial attacks once he reached his air special limit. Um, next up is his tornado. Um, I'll read the description of what it says. If you have been following Early Access, Taz's Tornado has been dominating his character kit and presenting a non-obvious knowledge check for newer players. By reducing its effectiveness, we hope to improve his gameplay health and loop and bring the game to a healthier state for newer players. So, coming into this game, if you're playing against Taz and you're newer to platform fighters, you're going to get destroyed by this move if you don't know how to deal with it. Um, so what they're doing is a decrease to the tornado's duration and the additional duration gained um, passing an ally. So if you pass by an ally with this, I guess uh, the duration is just added, but now they're decreasing it normally. So instead of the duration it has now, as you can see, it'll be a little shorter, so it won't linger out as long. Uh, the next note is removing one of the multi-hits of the tornado. So it's a four-hitting move. So tomorrow, because um, I'm recording this the night before, this hit, uh, this move will have one less hit. So if you notice, it does four hits. One, two, three, four. Now it will only have three hits. Uh, next is decreasing the hit pause of all the hits in the tornado. So if you notice the hit stop, um, that will be decreased as well. Reduce knockback from the final hit of, in the tornado from 1375 to 1275. So now this move will be a little less um, deadly when it comes to killing. Um, it'll still be useful, but just at lower healths, it won't be as good. So you're going to want to wait for them to have a good amount of damage added to them and then and then you can use the tornado for a kill um, but next they state right now our plan is to transition the tornado to a cooldown move in an upcoming patch the tornado in, is Taz's signature move so we want to keep it as one of his most powerful attacks with the cooldown forcing more intentional use of it these nerfs will reduce Taz's strength especially at higher levels of play so accept some Expect some buffs to uh, the other moves in his kit in the near future. So, um, he will be getting nerfs, but he'll also be getting adjusted in a good way um, to his other moves later on down the line. So, expect the next patch when Rick and Morty drop, which is August, sometime early August. Because um, right now, Multiverses is in preseason, so... Uh, season 1 starts soon. And then the last change is to Velma, which is just a simple change. Her weight was reduced from 70 to 63, so if you don't know, each character has their own weight. 
Um, and Velma's was 70, now they're reducing it to 63. And what they state is, it was an oversight on our part that Velma is one of the heaviest characters in the game. This change should bring her more in line with where we originally envisioned her. So, that's crazy she had 70, because as a smaller character, she definitely should not be that heavy. So, that should be a well-needed and nice change to Velma. But other than that, that's it for this patch note video. Um, again, LeBron will be out today. Uh, and I will be making a guide for him sometime this week. So expect that. Uh, so other than that, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.